Hi everyone, welcome to my Shoreline studio. I'm Sybil Muschik and behind the camera is Joshua Blanc. Today we're continuing on with mushrooms. Uh, we just had this wonderful jaunt uh, down by Baker Creek and uh, there are just enormous mushrooms of all sorts and uh, particularly the amanitas. Now we know they're deadly poisonous and you shouldn't be touching or eating them but photography is just fine. And I have in front of me here one of the photographs that we took. And it's just an amazing thing. Um, so many aspects to this, uh, the little white spots, the uh, veil that's prominent. This is not a mushroom you can mistake easily, so, but beware. And uh, some uh, dandelion greens here to indicate scale. Now I've already done my drawing ahead of time uh, and we're using um, our styrofoam circles again and what we have to do now I have already transferred you can see I think that I've just put some graphite on the back and smoothed it a bit and then redrawn it onto my plate and then you have this left behind and now all we have to do is make sure those lines are deep enough because we're going to try an intaglio. Now, intaglios uh, in the etching world are far different. The principle is the same, and now we don't need a, a big etching press to run a print. We have a gel plate, which is so handy. So basically, in intaglio, uh, you have a plate, uh, usually it's copper or zinc, and you put a surface on it that resists the ink. Um, it's called asphaltum. And then you take a, a pointed tool and scrape into that, and then you put that in acid because you scrape the asphaltum away, and that bites uh, into the plate and makes lines and then those lines are inked and then wiped and then put through the etching pests uh, with paper <laughs> and finally you have a lovely print but that process is going to be similar today uh, we're at the drawing stage here as i said our plate is styrofoam and we're just going to finish redrawing so um, maybe Josh can put some music on and we'll speed through this because it's probably quite tedious to watch. But it'll give you an idea of the kind of things you have to do uh, to get this effect. Okay, so we're just going to start redrawing here. Now, amanitas are distinctive by having these gill-like structures underneath. 
and we're going to just finish off here Now you can do cross hatching like um, printmakers do to indicate shadow. So we can do that here where there are darker areas. That's one way of obtaining um, a dark area. So just do lines and then just cross hatch nicely. If you look at some old books in the 17th, 16th century, uh, woodcuts and so forth, that's often what they did. They did cross hatching to indicate shadow. The first books, of course, there was no photography. Um, everything had to be illustrated by hand. And Etching was in its heyday and woodcuts, of course. So there we have it. I had done a little texture in the background already. I'm not sure if it's going to show up. All, all I did was take a something like a pen thing and it's made marks just so that it's not a blank surface there. Now the tricky part comes. So we finished with a drawing on the little styrofoam plate. So now we're going to do the background. And I'm just continuing on with my speedball printmaking inks. They are really great. You can either run them on a plate or do it this way and you'll get the consistency and texture you want. You just have to work at it a little longer. And you're at the right consistency when you hear that little snick. And we're getting close here. I'm going to block off that center area. Let's have a little circle cut out and then we're just going to make some crazy marks I think <laughs> to uh, simulate um, weeds here's our picture again so we'll try and simulate some of these shapes and things and I'm just going to go into it with the end of a brush and maybe even a brush just uh, maybe grasses, um, leaf shapes, just basic undergrowth kind of stuff. Maybe here and there. Just general mayhem, <laughs> which is what the forest floor is. Things that have dropped, um, maybe squirrels have come along and gotten some pine cones uh, so you'll see some tracks of animals so maybe a few dots here and there anyway make this fun really fun okay and then print and by blocking out that center that will stay white use our garvan don't forget your edges And that's quite nice. Okay. And the little circle will actually uh, take off the yellow paint for the most part. It'll leave a little bit behind, which is just fine. And now comes the extremely messy part. I have my plate. And we're just going to... Um, Place it on here for now. I've already inked it once and run a couple of 
test cases and um, they weren't terribly successful, were they, Josh? <laughs> but here we go. We're giving it another shot. Again, my speedball ink this is black and a credit card. And we're just going to squeegee on. A squeegee is actually your best bet, but we're going to squeegee on all this ink to try and get it down into those areas that we have etched, if you like, um, into the plate. I'm pressing really hard. And then without taking anything off again. But we want that surface off, right? So now in this case, um, the second print is the best. The first one will probably be a mess. That's what we've discovered anyway. And we might have to do a third run, but we'll see how that goes. And I've got some um, just bond paper, place this in the circle and hope for the best. Yeah, we just put some garbage paper on there. Or maybe another sheet. Now, as I said, this first print will probably um, be a little smudgy. It's the second one that we're after. We're just getting rid of everything on there. Lifting the plate. Okay, we're good so far. All right, here's your, just using bond paper. And basically clearing off that first layer. Now, as you can see, that print is a little on the dark side with a few, maybe a little bit too much ink. I might just try and remove some of that. You can correct at this stage. Just a little bit. And a little bit more. You just don't want it printing, that's all. Okay, now here's hoping. I've got most of it off. Uh, there'll be some remnants, but you know it's a print, right? So it has its little moments. <laughs> so I know this process maybe is a bit messy and a little bit more complicated, but unless you try this stuff, uh, you don't see the joy of this process and it's certainly worth doing. And there you go. It's not bad. We have some little marks here, but that's okay. And we have our etched lines, our little intaglio. I think it works pretty good. So I know you'll try this and you'll be a little more careful and take a little bit more time. <laughs> but um, it's it's been fun. and. Uh, as usual, um, I'll probably run another, I think you can run another one off of there. Uh, let's even see. You can often, and that plate, you can probably run several times with that much ink on it, so. And even that one isn't bad.
It's actually better than that one. <laughs> yeah. So what you could do is cut that out and put it in there as well. But anyway, so there you have it, our little intaglio. And actually the second um, print is nicer than the first one. And you could always cut that out and put it on there. But that's okay. It turned out pretty good. And I know you'll take more time than I was able to have uh, for this little experiment. Enjoy Intaglio. It's fun and worth doing. And uh, we'll see you again here another time at Shoreline Studio. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.